Well, hello there. It's Insurance Star here with your weekly insurance tip. So, a lot of questions lately about should I have comprehensive and collision coverage on my car that's paid off and, you know, is kind of old now. Well, that's not an easy question to answer. For example, Recently, about a month or so ago, we had a client who had liability only, and um, the car was probably worth around $4,000. He did end up getting into an accident. Even though it wasn't his fault, it still caused a problem. We went after the other party's insurance. Well, of course, guess what? They didn't have insurance. So now we've got a $4,000 vehicle that is totaled and my client got absolutely nothing. Now granted, you can save a little bit of money monthly or you know on your annual, semi-annual premiums by not having comprehensive and collision. The bad news is if something happens, you have to be willing to suck that bitter pill of I get nothing for my car and it wasn't even my fault, but that other knucklehead didn't have insurance, so I get nothing. And if you can't afford to buy a new car, you're not gonna get anything to help you with the down payment. You're gonna get absolutely nothing for the value of your car if you don't have comprehensive or collision coverage. So once again, not an easy answer, but it's one that you kind of have to discuss with your insurance agent to determine whether or not it's worth it to you. My best advice is, have it because you know you just never know if you get hit by an uninsured motorist you want to make sure that you're going to get something for your car and not be left with a big fat goose egg so uh that's my 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 tidbit for whether or not you should have comprehensive or collision coverage if you ever have any questions you're welcome to give us a call um that's it for this week so tune in next week and goodbye for now